Okay, so Digo Outliners. Digo Outliners is this really amazing new tool that I really want you to use for your research. So if you go to My Outliners up at the very top where you see My Library, My Outliners, My Groups, you can see that I've already built several, one of which Digo built for me. If I want to add a new one, I just click this green button. I will give it a title. So I'm just going to title this Environmental Outliner Example. And so what this does is it automatically pulls up this for me. And as you can see by this image in this presentation, an outline is just a general structure for what you're going to be doing. So a general outline is going to have a spot for an introduction. You're going to have a main claim, number one, a main claim, number two. Typically, there's going to be a main claim, number three, and then a conclusion. And then inside your introduction, I can hit tab. And that's going to change the level of my outline. I know I'm going to have a thesis statement. I might have some way to hook my readers. And underneath my main claims, I know that I'm going to need evidence. I know that I'm going to need reasoning. Um, so I might have that on each of these things. Well, what Digo does for you now is if you click this button right up here, it literally pulls open your Digo library. And so if I want to add evidence in my main claim one, maybe in this first claim, there's some really good evidence in this Don't Constrain Energy article. Well, if I go over here and I click this little arrow, it immediately pushes that article into my Digo Outliner. If I hover over it, then it's going to give me the opportunity to add things into my outliner. So this little area arrow pushes whatever I want into my outliner. So I clicked both of those and now you can see that my works cited spot is there and the quote that I pulled is there. Well, if those things are both now in my outliner, then I can do things like add my in-text citation. So now I know that this came from Chip and I believe that was page 10 that we were looking at before. And so I can add that. Well, now if I decide that I need to reorganize things, I can actually click on this bullet point and maybe I decide that it belongs better in my main claim to evidence. And all I'm using to move these things around are the tab button. Shift tab will move back a, a bullet point that you have. And then if I want to, I can now also take my works cited, which is right here. I hit control X and I move that to its own bullet point. So I copied and pasted it. I can also add a bullet in my outline for a works cited. And everything that I use, I can now drag my works cited and put it in my outline. So let me give you another example. I'm going to go back here and maybe this article right here is another one that I want to use. So I can go to my outline. This is my evidence. And I'm going to put this causes and effects article in. Again, and I can exit out of this when I'm done with it. I can look at this. It automatically shows me that I have one annotation. When I hover over this, it'll pull up exactly what's here. And so if I hit this convert, button it pulls everything that was there into my outline again if i have something that i've quoted that maybe i haven't added an in-text citation to i would want to go ahead and add that to my outline and then again this can be moved anywhere i want it to be moved it can stay with this and now that i've included that i'm going to control x find a new bullet point control v and then I am going to move this down into my works cited. So I'm building my works cited as I am building my outline. This is going to help a lot of you to add your own thoughts and keep your writing balanced. So as we're going through, if I want to think, or write something really specific, I can add my own thoughts anywhere in the outline that I want to. I have my evidence right here, which is ready for me to use, which is fantastic. And I can really keep myself organized by pulling all of my research into one place. 
that's it for today. Hopefully you found that helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. And as always, please let us know if there's anything else that we can be doing.